Let's click on the questions for my review icon on the home page of the toolkit. Here we have the option to answer the review questions online through the app or to print off a PDF version of the questions and complete them manually. By filling out the online app version, it means that you can share your answers directly with your healthcare professional via email. If we click on the answer a new set of review questions, a prompt appears where you can enter the date of your upcoming medicines review appointment. Select a date from the calendar using the forward and the back buttons. And then click on continue. You will then see two options, one for answering questions prior to your medicines review meeting and one for after your meeting. As the layout and the format of both sets of questions are similar, let's focus on the pre-review. Questions are divided into three headings, with a few short questions under each. Each question has preset answers for you to choose from and a space for you to enter any further comments. Now we can complete the second section of questions. Let's click on Medicines and My Daily Life. Here the first couple of questions are about any side effects you may be experiencing from your medicines. Let's click on yes as before and use the next button. You can choose either one or several of the pre-entered options and there is also a free text box at the bottom for anything else you want to add. Let's select skin rash and enter another symptom. Once complete, scroll back up to the top and click on Next. The next question asks if your medicines are impacting more generally on your daily activities like work, social life and housework. Again, you can select one or several of the options and if you don't see what you're looking for, then you can select Other and enter your comment in the free text box. Scroll back up and click on Next. The last question in this section asks about your mood to get a better insight if your medicines may be impacting you emotionally or psychologically. Let's click on No and scroll down to click on the green Save button. As before, you are taken to a page containing further information and support relevant to this section. You can expand and collapse using the right hand arrows. When you are finished, click on the green return to question list. You should now be able to see that all of the questions have now been answered. If you want to make any changes to your answers, you can click back into the questions from here. Nothing is finalised yet. If you are happy with your responses, then click on the finalise and share button. A reminder pops up to say that any further change will not be possible. Now click on continue. You are then told that your answers have been saved and that you can now continue on to sharing the completed questions with your healthcare professional or that you can stop there and come back at a later date to share them. Let's continue on. At the top of this page is a privacy notice about the security of any personal information that you have entered into the app. We can fill in the form to indicate who we are. Let's enter a name. And we can select a date of birth by using the forward and back buttons. Then we enter the email address of the practice or the pharmacist that you want to send your pre-review meeting answers to. By using the green plus sign, you can enter multiple email addresses, so you could also email your answers to yourself or a carer. There are no limitations on the number of email addresses that you can enter. When finished, click on the green submit button. A final checkbox pops up and after you confirm, you should then see another pop up confirming that the review has been sent successfully. Click on OK to go back to your main review page.